Is it possible for one vehicle to have multiple personalities? Absolutely. In fact, nearly every model in the modern Toyota lineup has some level of customization in its driving dynamics, thanks to the drive mode feature that can transform the vehicle's character with just the press of a button. More often than not, this feature will offer three settings, Normal, Sport, and Eco, which can be selected either through dedicated switch gear or through settings in the multi-information display. Let's take a minute to go through each one. Normal is essentially the factory default. All systems are tuned to deliver just the right response for balanced, everyday driving. Sport mode is where things get a little more fun. This setting is designed to tighten up various aspects of the vehicle to deliver a more engaging experience. So what does it do? Well, that depends on the vehicle, but typically it involves remapping the powertrain behavior. For the engine, this means adjusting the throttle response so that less pedal movement is needed to achieve more power. In other words, if you picture the pedal travel as a line graph that goes from 0 to 100%, this basically skews the power delivery curve so that there's more available closer to the 0% end. And even though it doesn't change the total maximum output, this simple trick goes a long way in making a car feel more powerful. And for the transmission, Sport mode adjusts the shift point so that the engine hits a higher RPM before shifting, helping to increase the amount of power being delivered to the wheels to provide stronger acceleration. Sport mode also can affect the vehicle's steering feel, providing more weight and resistance for a more confident feel during spirited driving around curves. Additionally, select models may have their own enhanced versions of sport mode that offer unique features specific to that vehicle like adjusting the damping of the suspension system, or even altering the sound of the engine for some added excitement. Now, as you might expect, Eco Mode adjusts things in the other direction, helping to maximize efficiency through more conservative throttle tuning and transmission shift points. So let's think about that line graph again. In Eco Mode, the power curve now skews more to the 100% side, meaning that output and fuel usage is scaled back when the pedal is only moderately depressed. But just like Sport, you still have that full 100% power available if you need it. Eco Mode does not limit the total output, it just helps avoid unnecessary throttle input during moderate driving. Additionally, Eco Mode can even enhance efficiency by altering the operation of the air conditioning system, helping to maximize every last bit of energy. And like on the Sport side, the Eco side also has some additional modes that may be available depending on vehicle. In particular, the EV mode that's offered on plug-in hybrid models, which allows the vehicle to travel using nothing but the battery for power. In fact, even standard hybrid models can enjoy a limited EV mode experience if the right conditions are met. So that's a brief look at Toyota's various drive mode systems and how they help make for a smarter drive, whether sitting in rush hour traffic or zipping through a winding back road.